All right, continuing what's going on here with the orchestra tuning, okay? Um, so you kind of learned and looked at how to tune with your A's in tune. Let's take our A added tune now, okay? So I'm just gonna lower that. Remember the peg goes towards you to go lower. Always go lower first, okay? Okay, and it's just too low. I gotta use the peg here. Okay. You can hear by the cello drone on YouTube. You can just um, search on YouTube drone A or drone D or drone G or drone C if you wanna tune each string. That does help, okay? So you can kinda hear, it's a little sharp. I'm gonna take it down. take out the other strings out of tune with the pegs. Um, first you want to get experience to taking strings off and putting on new strings before you sometimes um, use the pegs. I'm going to turn this off before you use the pegs because the pegs are very temperamental um, and they take the smallest adjustment to get it in tune. Okay so I tuned it lightly. It's um, it's a little out of tune, so I'm just gonna change my D, okay? Remember, towards you, always, to start. Okay, just my G a little bit, my C a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna tune it first pizzicato, because that's just easier than tuning with a bow, right? So, let's try this. Okay, just up a cinch away from you. Okay. And then you really want to pluck, turn, pluck, turn, pluck, turn as fast as you can so you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it. I pluck, I turn it, it goes, yeah, yeah. So just listen for that. Close. Okay. Now, that's just with my right hand. My right hand has to pluck, turn, pluck, turn. Almost like a guitar. Here I can pluck as many times as I want and turn. It's very small. Okay, and notice I'm putting pressure here and here. Right? You can hear it. Now my viola is, um, it's just bigger. It's more of an amateur viola, so it's going to be a little harder to turn. That's not always true. But I've just noticed that whenever I'm uh, turning and tuning student instruments compared to mine. You guys' are sometimes much more easier to turn. Okay, and then we can take it up in bow to be a little bit more accurate. Wow, little hole in my stand. Sorry, gang. Okay, let's see if I can just turn a little bit left here. Oh. Okay, and then turn and tune. Right, it still sounds out, so I gotta double stop it. Um, after turning the pegs, I want to make sure my A is still in tune, because that can make it go out. Good, so I'm gonna turn this off. Close enough. Okay, 
So for the most part, I'd say I'm in tune. Um, pizzicato first, then bow. Um, this will take you a long time to get used to the first time. I can remember back in school, back when I first started doing this in junior high, 7th, 8th, ninth grade, um, I would spend hours just trying to get used to it, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two, you know, just watching a movie and plucking and whatnot. Um, and it would just take, I had to build up my strength with my left hand and with my right. That's never easy to do. Um, don't take it for granted. It does take work, okay? Um, it does take time, but it's so worth it in the end because you can tune it yourself and rely on your ear to tune instead of just your chromatic tuner. And I love my chromatic tuner, but man, there are times when um, my chromatic tuner really bugs me. So, all right, well, have a nice week. Take it easy, guys.